Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to the channel. Since the successful second launch of Starship, things have been relatively quiet at Starbase. This is a positive sign that the launch pad is fully operational following the launch. At the build site, we've observed some movement of a few Starships. S-28, the next Starship rumored to be flown, was moved from the Rocket Garden into the High Bay, likely in preparation for its upcoming pre-flight testing campaign. The High Bay is currently quite crowded, with four fully stacked Starships occupying the space. According to Elon Musk, these represent the final batch of Starship version 1. The next generation of Starships is expected to feature nine Raptor engines, an increase of three from the current version. There will be other enhancements, but this will be the most noticeable change. Yesterday, on November 23, 2023, the European Space Agency, ESA, conducted a full-duration hot-fire test of the Ariane 6 rocket's core booster, equipped with a single Vulcan 2.1 engine. The test took place on the launch pad at Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana. This was the longest full-stacks run for Ariane 6 to date, lasting a total of eight minutes. The hot fire test of the upper stage will be conducted next month in Germany. The Ariane 6 is a new European launcher designed to be more reliable and cost-effective than its predecessor, the Ariane 5. The inaugural launch of the Ariane 6 is scheduled for 2024. Meanwhile, at SLC 41 in Florida, United Launch Alliance is preparing for the maiden flight of its Vulcan Centaur rocket next month, the Centaur 5 upper stage was recently stacked atop the booster. Despite the year drawing to a close, the excitement continues. Well guys, until next time, goodbye and see you soon.